artists. What do you guys think of the art that you just saw? Completely different artists, considering they're related. And the Younger Boys one was kind of a mix, I think. Some of the black and white ones were really sort of in sort of fashion at the moment. And the other ones were more sort of, sort of um, symbolic of stuff rather than more arty. And then the mums one, the mothers ones, I don't know. They seem more passionate and they seem more. They were quite. They related to her son, like in to do that. Yeah, um, they they were really passionate towards her son and they seem really caring yeah. of him. Like I said, I, I don't know the meanings of the paintings, but like I appreciate like good art and I I can see good art and that's good art there, and I really liked it. Yeah. I love the self-portrait especially because it kind of captures, it's not like perfect realism, it kind of captures an image of, of him that's really good and also I like a lot of the messages that he's putting forward. I especially like the, uh, the one of the heart and uh, the houses. It gives a brilliant interpretation of a lot of society and how love is kind of separated from uh, general society. Love has to be an individual thing, so it's kind of broken away from the, the general society which is represented by the... and especially the windows in that in that picture as well. I really like that. Well, I mean, I've always been painting, but I just really... I've recently started, like... Still, um, so you've painted since you were really young? I've painted since... Yeah, I've always painted. Stupid pictures and stuff. I'm going to show you. I've got a scribble, apparently, okay, whatever, okay, from, from, from King Solomon, all right, of you. I've got someone draw upstairs. <laughs> Matt Gold, right? Yeah. It's quite funny, actually. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite a likeness as well. Um, yeah, no, I've been painting my my whole life, but I just recently started to um, like, yeah, I just recently started just kind of you know big canvas. I, used, I paint walls, I do graffiti, I started from graffiti as well. Oh, okay. But like, I just like I enjoy paint canvases because you know everyone else, you know, you can sell them, obviously. Yeah. And um, yeah. wherever you know, just wherever you know what I mean. Like, I definitely collected more with Schrebel's art. I found his work to be very unique, um, and certain pieces really cra captured captured me, like got me to go right into them. And for me, like I'm also an artist, and for me to be able to to get that from another artist is a very moving, moving thing. It's emotions, it's talent. Um, it's everything combined. Like it's almost, you know, hard to put into words. The uniqueness. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of artists like to paint the same things, and he's got a, a certain uniqueness about his art that I've never seen before. All right. So, Morel, uh, tell me, tell me how you, what you think of uh, some of this, this is solid. Your stuff is amazing, dude. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. I'm getting that on a T-shirt. You like this one? Yeah. T-shirt. Can you explain to me this? Um, okay, fine. Well, you've got the two sides. Ah! So, um, Here's the guts. Oh, okay. I signed it instead. No, the piece is kind of instead. Well, I guess he's just instead of his material of life, I guess. Yeah. But, like, you know, he's caught up in it, he's addicted, he's just. Ah, yeah, yeah. Just, and death has a hold on it? Death has a hold on him. He's locked on his couch, you know, he's just stuck in that world, he's just stuck in it. And the two of you know, he's just got everything he's as much as well. He's just he's stuck in his liquid. Yeah. But the exit is just round the corner. Oh, there you go. I didn't even see that. God, he was right there. He, she could get there. He, he, if he could get up, if he could get up yeah. and make it round, he, he'd be there. I can't even, I don't know, I can't even put it in the words. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> It's cool. Amazing. He has a lot of potential. You're extremely talented. I don't like, I personally, just personally, don't like stylized things. I like... What do you mean by stylized? By stylized, I mean... that everything has one particular form. And... Yeah, there's a there's an artist I don't know if you know Botero. Uh, there's I mean there's some great great artists, but their work is very very stylized in a way that's excellent because then you see and you recognize it's immediately it's, it's distinctive. That's what that's what I'm okay. trying. That's what I guess I'm trying to. I understand that. that. However. That's only one part of what there is. There is much more. And you have more. I guess thank and you me. should let go I try. of all I didn't of that. To you, about it. you understand? Don't, don't stick and don't stay 
because that's what it is. Oh, that's the snare, that's that, the trap. That's the trap, exactly right. And that becomes, you know, you know it, can very, doing it. it can become very, it can become very famous. Do you understand? Uh, what's his name? Um, um, Andy Warhol. Andy okay. Warhol, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, so uh, this, this whole school of thinking of redoing and redoing and redoing and redoing the same thing over and over and over again, you know, creates a style, becomes very much stylized, and that's it. However, you have more than that. There is more than that, much, much more than that. Tell me about, tell me about this. This one, okay, I did this one a year, before, like a year ago. This is, this is superb. I did this a year ago. It's this, superb. This, this was the inspiration superb. for this. I, I understand. Um, I understand. I was and drinking quite heavily yeah. around this time. I figured. I was in my yeshiva <laughs> and I used to just drink. Every, right. I was drunk every day. And, uh, I just got to a point where I was like, you know, this, I know I know it's not good. I just felt like I just I wake up every morning and I'd, I'd be aching and I just I wouldn't be feeling good and I just you know, I just I just felt the effects of it you know and I just I just did a little sketch of it I know I just did a sketch and then I guess now I did a painting of this one just, but that this is different that, this one you see is that, in position yeah he's walking he's coming yeah, he's coming but you see that is real in you there's a tremendous tremendous power and you should. You should let that go. I don't try. get stuck. I do. Don't, don't, don't. I recently I've been trying to get more kind of loosen up with my art. Yeah. Because your art is very free. And I've not, I'm not talking about and Elliot, so I've experienced Elliot's artwork and his art is like, I just, I, I saw him painting. It's like, just, just like, it just, he just lets out like onto me. It's very free. Yeah. I, just, I yearn is, for that you know, freedom. All of us, all of us have a very specific kind of view of the world. Okay. People say to me, your art will change when you live in Tzvat. And I say my art will not change because I live in Tzvat, because the person who is painting is me. And it's my view of what I see when I look at you. Okay, I don't see what other people see. And so I paint what I see. You paint what you see. A person who is looking at the art takes from themselves, puts it into the work, and it becomes they, they a very subjective themselves. relationship one between the other. If you're asking just technique, mm. technique, I love it. Technique, excellent. I, I want to see more. I want to see. I want to see the insta. Turned nineteen, Miriam. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's why I said there is. There is so 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 much. There's so much. So much more. Karen's been surrounded by art her whole life. Um, her father was a famous artist who's known as the modern Pablo Picasso. And therefore, and also her mother was in the theater in London, and due to that, she literally spent her whole life immersed in culture, art, uh, and she went to art school, even throughout art school, she remained um, attached to art, and she worked on it constantly, trying to make her own, her own path, bringing out her own ideas and emotions. My, my thoughts and feelings about it is she, she has a lot in her mind that she wants to share and often her art reflects exactly a moment, like a moment that she, she saw something, like a, a color or a person and that, that sparked her creativity to actually start painting and her work is a reflection of that. Uh, technically they call it abstract figuratism. Um, and, or ex abstract expressionism, but I believe it's a it's an emotional process of her connecting to the world and understanding her relationship in it. And I think that she's trying to capture like how she understands the na the world and views the world, and then she paints it. And that's the job of the the artist has that job. The artist's job is to let you see the world. You know, take a moment and sit down and really think about the life that we live. 
And um, the paintings speak to me because they're really fresh and unique for Spot. There's not very many fine artists in Spot. And although her works weren't created here, I think they're going to find a real, a real place here. Some of the most incredible talent I've seen in a very, very long time. And um, just such original uh, pieces that truly, by far, the uh, expression and the colors and the energy and everything that you see here is beyond some of the greatest artists of our time and truly you see that's someone who, that takes his original thoughts and puts them down on a canvas and it's really really incredible and I wish that she just blossom and truly prosper in uh, everything that he does. Karen, how are you, you feeling? It's very and nice. People are very, very um, um, appreciative. And I got the most awesome saying? bracha from Miriam. Well, the thing is that I kind of cheated because, like, Shlom has been painting up until the last second. Like, Mamash, like, literally, he was painting at like, 3 o'clock this morning. I was there, I was with him. Oh, well, I was painting the door. But meanwhile, I've gone and schlepped out. Like all my old cobweb stuff, like Go from like bar. 30 years ago. So it's like, ask me what I, ask me what my pictures are about. Gary, like very, very you know, I I I don't know yet. I haven't made them yet. So but the, what those are about? Those were about. Um, those were about. Um, yearning for yearning for things. Both of both of which Hashem has like provided, like Mamash provided, like I was yearning, I was yearning for motherhood, and I was yearning, and I didn't know, but I I, I guess I was yearning for for for, for meaning, and I mean and Hashem, and by through mother through the journey of like motherhood, and Hashem has like just showered the most unbelievable, unmerited. Dare I say it? Brothers upon me, and um, you should like whoa. Travel. I, the bracha that I got from Miriam, it was so kind of accurate. It was like um, already the bracha that I've been given by being given such a talented child. Actually, bracha Hashem, my my daughter is also immensely talented. And um, by being given that, then I should we should grow and we should grow in in like giving and giving and giving because like because because art is a very interesting activity. It's extremely deeply rewarding. Like you're giving to yourself, but ironically, the more you're able to really, really, truly give to yourself and satisfy that kind of deep inner part of yourself, then you succeed in giving and reaching other people. It seems. In other words, the more true you are to yourself, the more the more like the more the, the more true your arrow flies into the heart of another person and um, and um, so she said that like through giving then we should come to uh, be able to appreciate and um, that I I think she was specifically meaning with it we should come to appreciate and uh, uh, be able to accept and appreciate the love that we are being given but that seems it's a bit difficult that bit like I said, like I'm kind of like crossing like, you know, a bridge, like a mental bridge, like between like all, all that's gone down, like from when I made those to like now. It's just like, it's interesting. It's been like very, like a, ma a very beautiful journey, like putting that all together. Cause it's like, who, who, who could have thought that the work that I made, I made those pictures in, in London like 20 years ago. And who would I ever ever thought and imagined in my wildest dreams mm. that not only was I going to find God, the living God, but I was going to have the privilege of being able to see them again and view them in the holy, the holiest city of Spot. And uh, it's like just very, like very special. So um, uh, the cohesion is the is the same person, it's that same person who's like yearning, who's hungry. Nabrah Hashem, some of that hunger's been like quenched, like satisfied. And so who's to know what's gonna happen now that we're 
she's in possession of maybe some of the, some of the some of the facts. We'll see. Watch this space. <laughs> can, you do, can you do a repeat of the Baraka for the, for the camera, please? It was so. I tried to repeat it, but I can't repeat. They come. Just, give, just give me another one then. <laughs> <laughs> so. Nachis from yourself and from your children right. to nurture that talent, to nurture the love, to nurture everything that you build here. We're so incredibly lucky to have this holy city housing our works that we produced all of our lives. Yeah. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. We should have all and more and know that everything that you give and give and give and give, you will receive back in love and love and love and love. Amen. Amen. I don't know, it's, it, it's neat to just stand in the room for a while. And it's also a gift that I get to stand here by myself for a bit in the quiet and just let some of the work come in and feel it inside. One of the pieces, I guess all the time when you look at art, you try to understand what it's trying to say or where the artist is coming from and what it means. So this piece, I thought, oh, okay, I can, ex I can understand that. That's Yitzchak on the altar, and there's the ram. Of course, that might not be uh, the mind at all. But again, it's the tendency of the mind to try to put things into a box. And understand them. Yeah, I like this main picture in uh, Karen's, Karen's gallery space. There's a, there's a lot of energy going on here. There's different, it's almost like different parts of the self and uh, there's joy, there's sadness, uh, light and shadow, there's a, a greeting a baby in, in one part and like an open hand and then and then in another part there's like a hand consoling and uh, there's, there's someone who's all like crying and, and uh, hidden in shadow and maybe other, other figures as well in between overlooking guardians and, uh, and also uh, sort of elevated beings maybe. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's a, d a dynamic picture. It's uh, it sort of sp it spans a whole a whole process, a whole experience, and uh, um, yeah, it's very it's very, uh, it's very very expressive, very expressive piece. Since you were talking about this piece, um, so I'm looking at it more. I'm seeing what you were seeing. I'm trying to see what you were seeing, and I I now what I see is that this. The biggest figure in green, with the face in, of like the sky, that that's the person, that that's the person. And then these are different aspects, or different different parts of her, different parts of her lifetime, different cycles that she goes through in her life. That, she, that this is the whole, like, and embracing it all. And see how the face, it's like this gentleness to the main face and acceptance. It's like, yes, I had a hard time, yes, I had sad times, happy times. Accepting it all and embracing it all.